and welcome back to the most amazing channel on the internet. I'm your host Rebecca Felgate and today we're talking about the top 10 signals from a parallel universe. Before we get into the video, why don't you guys let me know if you believe in parallel universes or not? I would love to hear your thoughts. Do let me know in the comments section down below. I look forward to reading them. I'm actually reading the Philip Pullman Dark Materials trilogy right now. A, so good, and B, it talks about parallel universes or other worlds, so I love me some sci fi and I'm very into this video. Also if you guys want to connect with the team that went into making this video, you can find links to our social media in the description box down below. Alright, coming in at number 10 we have the deep space radio bursts. Mystery fast radio bursts were discovered in 2007. These bursts flash for a micro instant but emit more energy than the sun does in 10,000 years. The high energy surges of long waves have been detected 18 times over the past 10 years years, and one burst in 2012 recorded in Puerto Rico occurred numerous times in the same pattern. Ok, this is what it sounded like. After fierce debates and a lot of head scratching, the source of the sound was traced to a micro galaxy 3 billion light years away from Earth. A lot of theorists have concluded that the sound is a space signal from another world or a parallel universe looking to get in touch. Coming in at number 9 we have the man from Torrid. Were we sent a man from another parallel universe or did he arrive via some kind of portal or vortex? Our story here stems back to 1954 when a man was detained at the Japanese border after arriving on a plane from Europe to Hanada airport. The man said he was on his third business trip to Japan that year and he had a wallet filled with a mixture of currencies seeming to verify his business traveller status. When he presented his passport, officials were absolutely baffled asking where he was from. Now the man who primarily spoke French said, Torrid. Where is this mystery place? He showed his passport again and the stamps that supported his travels. The only thing is, nobody had ever heard of Torrid. The company he was travelling to said that they'd never heard of him, and he was carrying a checkbook to a non existent bank. When he was asked to point out Torrid on the map, he pointed to where Andorra is today and seemed confused and offended to be told that it's not a real country. He was detained in a hotel overnight while Japanese authorities decided what to do with him, but by morning, he disappeared. Did he accidentally walk through a portal to another universe? Maybe. Coming in at number 8 we have the Bernstein Bears Phenomena. Also called the Mandela Effect, the Bernstein Bears Phenomena claims to prove the existence of parallel universes with subtle differences. People vehemently claim that the Bernstein Bears were spelled with an E and not an A. And honestly, I for one absolutely thought that the Looney Tunes were the Looney Tunes until I watched a video on the phenomena last year, and now I'm straight up convinced that I'm living in the wrong universe as it is clearly Looney Tunes. They're cartoons. This new world doesn't make any sense. Some people out there are also adamant that Nelson Mandela died in prison in the late 1980s, which is more than just a slightly altered timeline. It's not just spellings here, this is a pretty major parallel universe event. Coming in at number 7, we have Deja Vu. Deja vu, a glitch in the matrix, or a signal from a parallel universe. While both seem as likely as one another, it is thought by some that the weird moments where we feel like we've been or experienced something before are actually signals that something key is happening in our parallel lives. Not only do some people believe parallel universes exist side by side, some people think they interact with one another in some way. According to Dr. Michio Kaku, an American American futurist, deja vu occurs as a result of a person's ability to flip between universes. Others believe it is because we're vibrating in unison with the frequency of another universe that's parallel with our very own. Oh, I've gone cross eyed. Coming in at number 6, we have the Lost Beatles album. A parallel universe may have given our world a gift in the form of a Lost Beatles album, Everyday Chemistry. This story goes that in 2009, a man called James Richards found himself self accidentally in a parallel universe, as you do. Luckily there was also a person from another parallel universe there, a man named Jonas. Now Jonas was on a trans dimensional tourism trip from the other earth, and he told Richards that in his world, amongst other things, John Lennon was still alive and the Beatles never broke up. 
Richards then stole a copy of a later album never released by the band and returned with it to Our Earth. What did he do with one of the most sought after pieces of music from a non history that almost but never happened here? He uploaded it to the internet. Eagle eared fans were absolutely having none of it though. They said the album is comprised of clever mashups from all of the Beatles' solo careers. Richards later said that even though in an alternate universe the Beatles hadn't broke up, that didn't mean their future music ideas disappeared. I'm not so sure about this one, but I would love to hear what Paul McCartney has to say about it. Paul, tell us, is it real? I guess you're living in another universe, so you don't know, but I don't know. I feel like you'd be able to answer. Coming in at number 5, we have dreams. Could our dreams be signals from a parallel universe? Some say maybe. In a number of First Nations cultures in North and Central America, people believe that dreams allow us to walk planes in other dimensions. Their reasoning is that dreams take place in colour and can include all of their senses. They think that when you're in a dream, you are in another world, perhaps a world you already exist in if you're doing Doing something strange in your dream, maybe it's a sign that actually you live a far stranger life somewhere else. Coming in at number four, we have the bruise. Anyone else say a bruise like a peach? Just me? Me? And the universe. In 2010, along with a team of researchers, Stephen Feeney of the University College in London announced that he had discovered patterns in the radiation background left over from the Big Bang. Now, this seemed to suggest that our universe bumped into not one, not two, but four other universes and was left bruised. Okay, what is the plural of universes? Universe I? Universe I? Universe I. Also, from the bruising, further researchers in California think that it is clear that this leads to some kind of like bubble universe theory, which maybe I can get on board with. Maybe Men in Black got it right when they imagined us all as marbles in a big bag. Coming into number three, we have the cold spot. In 2004, astronomers found something that baffled them, an unusually cold area of space. The area is 1.8 billion light years across and much colder than its surroundings. The area also contained 10,000 less galaxies than in other areas of a similar size studied in space. A researcher from Durham University in the UK believed that the spot could be evidence of a multiverse. They said it seemed as if a parallel universe smashed into ours affecting it like a car pile up on the motorway would, only they're calling it a cosmic shunt. They believe the impact was so vast it pushed energy out from a big region of space, therefore creating the cold spot. It's hard to get your head around, but that is what they think. Coming in at number 2, we have City in the Sky. In October 2015, Chinese TV went wild when thousands of residents in two areas of the country reported seeing a huge floating city in the clouds. Puzzled onlookers saw skyscrapers in the clouds and believed that they were seeing a ghost city or the colliding of our reality with a parallel universe. The phenomenon occurred in both Guangdong and Jiangxi, with some believing it was the beginning of an alien invasion. The images were caught on camera for the world to see and promptly went viral across the rest of the globe. So, what on earth or above earth is going on? Well, even though it looks like a city in the clouds to you and me, apparently. Apparently, it is an optical illusion called Fata Morgana, which is a natural mirage. So, that is what a lot of scientists are saying anyway, but other people are convinced it's a sign of a parallel universe or even a window to another world. Finally, coming into number one, we have black holes. The theory of loop quantum gravity suggests that there is no point of singularity in a black hole, rather, there simply folds in the universe. Everything we know about quantum physics tells us that information is never lost, that energy can't be created or destroyed, so perhaps black holes don't suck and destroy. Maybe they suck and create. A lot of scientists are dabbling with the idea that black holes are indeed folds or portals to an older part of the universe. Professor Stephen Hawking gave a lecture in 2015 wherein he discussed how it may be possible to come out of the other side of a black hole. He said the hole would need to be large, and if it was rotating, it might have a passage to another universe. But you couldn't come back to our universe. Anyone want to take that one way trip? I don't know if I do. So, guys, 
are black holes portals to another universe? This seems like a good moment to mention our sister channel Life's Biggest Questions which answers all kinds of questions especially like that. We love a bit of black hole chat so head on over there where you'll hear me, you'll hear Charlotte, you'll hear Jack. Good times. So guys that's the end of our list. Do you believe in multiverses? Let me know in the comments section down below. I've now reached the part of the video where I get to read out your comments from a previous video and I'm very excited. This is from the top 10 scary attic stories. Nightmare File said, I've never been caught in anyone's attic. That's good if you're lurking there, you really don't want to get caught, it's just too many questions. King Yadar said, when you're too scared to watch the video you just scroll through the comments listening to the audio. Yeah, I, I, I get that. Sometimes I'm a bit scared and I made the video. Crystal Esperanza said, The most scariest thing you'll find in the attic, there's no Wi Fi. So much love from Egypt. Hello, Egypt. Yay. I forget that it isn't just me here in a studio and a lot of you are watching from around the world. So, hello, world. And alternate worlds, parallel worlds, so many worlds. Hello, me from the world over there. Hope you're a babe. Anyway, I think it's time for me to get out of this video. Thank you very much. Leave a thumbs up, share with a friend. I'm Rebecca Felgate. I'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.